Good morning. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Whatever it is you're celebrating, I think Corinne likes to call it Happy Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Solstice, Yulstice. I never get it right. Anyway, whatever it is you're celebrating, it is certainly the holiday season, and a lot of people like to give gifts. <clears throat> I sort of covered that last time, but I also wanted to focus on really good gift ideas. But this time, marrying it to the current Teach Your Kids to Game Week being celebrated on DriveThruRPG. So a combination of good games for kids and good gifts for kids and those who play games with them. So we're going to open up with Mictum, which I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Mictum Fluffy Adventures. Um, it is uh, straight up, you're playing cute heroes with special powers, and the demo video has a puppet of a cute fuzzy as the GM. There is a significant focus on inclusivity and a proud affirmation of indie development. A lot of people are really excited about this one, and I am too. I think this is a really neat product, and uh, actually, with the, if you go to the, the, the link, you'll see there's a whole bunch of stuff there, but really going to the sales page is just going to deep dive you into even more. They really went all in to give you a lot of information about this game. Tuesday's pick was a double pick. I decided to go with Icons and Bash, two superhero games that both are very kid-friendly. Superheroes are hot, and kids are easily enticed to gaming with the premise of that kind of experience. The two systems I think are well-suited to younger players are Steve Kenson's Icons and Chris Rutkowski's Bash. Steve specifically set out to create a low-complexity, easy-access supers game as a counterpart to his highly successful and genre-defining Mutants and Masterminds, and he excelled with icons. Chris literally wanted to create a game to teach extended multiplication and other math skills through RPGs, which is exactly what Bash does. Hell, I recall some of my own fundamentals while playing it. Now, unfortunately, the Bash image is a bit smaller. Hey, Chris, you need a bigger image on your sales page. Anyway, both of these are really fun, very colorful superhero games that are incredibly well-suited to getting kids to play role-playing games and especially to have fun playing supers. Wednesday, we went to Amazing Tales. This complete kids RPG, and that's exactly how it's uh, pr uh, promoted, is a natural choice designed for kids around four years old and up with parents and guardians. It's meant to function like an interactive bedtime story, otherwise serve as a way to engage youngsters in creative story play. Amazing Tales is also a critical darling. Ian World describes Amazing Tales as, quote, perfect for its target audience and a great first-time RPG. Boing Boing said, quote, a huge smash hit, and the GM's table said, quote, if your kids... If you have kids, I'd suggest it. So anyway, this is another one of those very much specifically suited to kids and getting into adventure gaming. Now, I missed yesterday uh, because sometimes my uh, Thursdays get out of control and the added pressures of Christmas. So anyway, I decided to do a makeup pick for yesterday, and you can't really discuss teacher kids uh, to game with without covering hero kids. It is the top of the heap when it comes to kid-friendly RPGs. There's a ton of support and expanded options now. Uh, really just delve into that one, click the link, and follow around. There's all kinds of stuff going on there. And finally, I wound up the pick of the week uh, process to Mouse Guard Role-Playing Game 2nd Edition. Makes too much sense to me. It's one of the definitive games when it comes to kid-friendly concepts. It really doesn't pull punches so much as it appeals to the imagination and introduces hard ideas in a way that is easy for everyone at the table to grasp. It's a classic graphic novel series, and the artist slash creator David Peterson is also deeply involved with the RPG, which features writing and design by the talents of Luke Crane. So there you go. Those are the picks of this week, running right up to Christmas. I am actually going to take Christmas week off. So uh, apologies to everyone, but yeah, I'm just no picks next week. We will get back into it first of the year, and I look forward to it then. So enjoy these picks, enjoy your holidays, merries and happies to all of you, and as always, uh, be good and game on.